Hi guys, let's have a look at a sublimation setup. It's a three template setup all on one A4 page. Or let me rephrase that, three templates on one sheet, A4 and also US letter and how to create them. This is really a beginner's tutorial for those who might have a copy of Affinity Designer. It probably works equally well in Affinity Photo if that's the one you have because it's really very simple to set up. And included with this, I've got the, the main file and the three images that I use um, placed on my website, well, both the websites in the download folder. And you'll see all that in the description anyway. So let's have a look at this. So set up your documents in Affinity Designer. Um, so we're going to actually set up two documents, both of which are preset in the new document menu. And you can see them there. They're already designed for you. They're, they live in the system. So you don't have to be worried about extra sizes and odd shapes. Same things apply in Designer for the iPad. And likewise, if you want to use Affinity Photo. So go to File and New and firstly select A4. Later, we'll select Letter, which is US Letter, a standard size in the US. Where else? <laughs> So we'll do that momentarily, but they're very easy to do. So let's go to the next step, which is set your settings as shown in the image. Now that's standard A4 size. The document units millimeters. I prefer the DPI to be 300. A lot of people use 72, but I prefer 300. It's easier to go from 300 to a lesser DPI than it is to go from a lesser DPI to a greater one. If you don't know what that all means, don't worry. Just leave it at 300 dpi. The colour format's RGB. Now, a lot of people use CMYK, but that kind of limits your colours. And given what you're doing, you want the most colours you can get. And that's in RGB. Now, of course, when you're printing out, it prints out on in a CMYK manner. All printers are CMYK. But they have their own software to fudge, if you like, the colours, the CMYK colours out of RGB. So let them do it for you at this level. You don't, you only need to worry about CMYK if you're going to a print shop and you're printing calendars and posters and things like that. We're not doing that. We're doing sublimation and this is all you want. Transparent backgrounds are good because they also give you much more control over the finished graphic. You can add a background or not. You don't have to worry about taking it away in the first place. So that's easy, isn't it? This is a very short uh, tutorial you'll find. Now this is the US letter one. Leave the colours as RGB. You'll see the page width is 8.5 by 11 inches. The US use inches. The A4 size, which is mostly Europe, the UK, etc., is in millimetres. But that won't matter too much. If you have to, just do a little conversion. Now, let's put in some non-printing guides. This is how you divide your page up into three segments. For the eight four page, they're shown there, the horizontal guides and the vertical guides. You can go to the, the toolbar and show guides. That's fairly straightforward. You should know that. If you don't, have a look around. You'll find them there. They're very easy to find from the toolbar. Now, if you want to add a guide, and you'll need to, you can see the arrows pointing to a little grey page there. It's almost invisible on that, on that um, toolbar. But there it is. I don't know why um, Affinity and their wisdom have made it so hard to see, but you just have to live with it. You can't just copy these settings, oh, I'm misspelling there, to the US letter page. The sizes are slightly different but they amount to the same thing, and I'll give you those sizes right now. If you make a mistake with the size, double-click on the setting, and you can enter the size you want, and it'll move to it. Okay, the US letter guide measurements, they're all there, and they'll give you slightly different sizes. But that's all right, that's exactly what you want. Now, let's add the images. 
the images that are in the file that came that are on my site or you can use your own images and we can either copy and paste or place the images now in order to keep the aspect ratio right that is keep the height related to the width you can hold down the shift key while you drag out a corner point because you don't want them higher or lower than those horizontal lines and there's a two millimeter gap in between the top and the first line and the two second lines there or you can go to the transform panel where you can enable the chain link so that when you alter the height the width changes for you automatically so let's let's have a look at these options you can see the transform panel down there on the right it's below all the layers and the width and the height are there and you can see the little chain link on the very right hand side there so if I alter the height for example it will alter the width and that's what you want you don't want the design you've worked so hard on or you've paid so much money for to be disfigured by having its aspect ratio changed make sure you have the blue dot in the middle of the square in the bottom left it defaults to the top left and that will place your image somewhere off the page but you want it right where you've got it in the center so make sure that little blue dot is clicked now we're getting there you can now start adding your images keeping them within the boundaries of the non-printing guides you'll have three sublimation prints per sheet you can place the images wherever you like horizontally keeping in mind that the blank panels either side are areas that the handle of the mug will occupy don't forget your mug's got a handle on it well most of them have if it hasn't you're in luck so don't put any hot stuff in the mug <laughs> the center line is the side of the mug furthest away from the handle now if you want that insect for example facing you as you're holding the handle you'll probably have to reduce its size slightly and move it slightly to the right or the left if you want it facing away from you if you're holding the mug with your right hand now that's the end of it too easy remember when you come to print these out your printer will undoubtedly give you grief because printers don't print right up to the edge and they do all sorts of strange things some do some don't you can get them to do it if you tell it you're printing photographs you may be able to get it to print right up to the edge you don't want it right up to the edge but you don't want your little butterflies and bugs cut off so thank you for watching you'll find the example files of the images in the affinity download folder on both my uk and us websites i'm building one slowly that's the us one to replace the uk one whether it ever does or not, I don't know. Remember, you can use these for almost anything you want, not just putting three images on a mug.